Hello everyone, Chris here. Hope everyone's doing well. Today we're gonna to take a look at the most basic type of con continuous medication aerosol system. Something you might utilize in the emergency room, something that is simple, uh, quick, and easy to set up to deliver a continuous bronchodilator therapy. As you know, there's many other ways to, to apply uh, continuous medication. Um, we can use an aerogen, uh, depending on if the patient's on CPAP, etc., on a ventilator. There are other ways to provide that, but what I'm going to show you today is a very, very simple setup uh, utilizing the HOPE nebulizer. Um, and again, follow all processes or procedures in your hospital. Um, the HOPE nebulizer uh, comes with a package insert that allows the therapist to calculate the dosing by adding saline and how much a bronchodilator to, to the nebulizer to have an output of how many hours. Now that is very important that you follow those directions completely and precisely, but some hospitals uh, these days are requiring pharmacy to be involved in the mixture of, of medications in that way. Uh, so make sure that you follow your hospital's policies and procedures. But today we're just gonna look at a very, very simple system, a continuous aerosolization of medications with the HOPE nebulizer. All right, everyone, here is the HOPE nebulizer. Um, it, somewhat of a large volume nebulizer, kind of a specific uh, use designed to deliver continuous uh, medication. Um, as you can see, it has, it can be connected to a, a flow meter on a blender, so that's recommended. This doesn't have air entrainment ports. There's no FiO2 adjustments like we saw on our uh, bland aerosol um, nebulizer that has the dial and the venturi. This one is a sealed system. You can connect up the flow meter here and you would use a blender um, to set your FiO2 on whatever that physician orders there. Now, again, the uh, Hope Nebulizer unscrews this way. Uh, the medication uh, can be inserted in the container. The physician would order uh, how much bronchodilator in milligrams per hour uh, or a total dose that the, the, the doctor may want administered. Um, and again, once you have that order, you can use the HOPE uh, package insert to help mix saline with, uh, uh, in this case, uh, let's say example of albuterol uh, to get the concentration um, that the physician has ordered. Uh, there's an additional port here if, uh, let's say that pharmacy could mix uh, a bag of uh, medication that we can dispense over a period of time. Um, you can do that with a bag hanging and the IV tubing uh, inserted into this port here and, and drip the medication, keeping the uh, can or the container full of medication. That can be on just a TKO where you adjust the, the uh, hand port on the IV to, uh, to infuse or even an IV pump um, can be utilized uh, if that's uh, required. So again, here's the HOPE nebulizer. So next we're gonna go ahead and connect this up to the flow meter and just demonstrate on a, on a pullback shot what the system would look like. Well, all right, everybody, there's the HOPE nebulizer. Uh, in this example, we've just connected it to a simple flow meter, but again, there is no FiO2 adjustment on the HOPE nebulizer. So you really would only be getting 100% source gas and uh, that would most likely not be appropriate. So you're gonna wanna utilize your, um, your, F your blender that you can connect this to the blender and dial in the FiO2 that the physician has ordered. Now, very much like our bland aerosol setup, um, we're gonna set the flow, we're gonna get the flow into the tubing, we're gonna have a drain bag and route that all the way over to the patient. Now, in the case of a continuous aerosol of medication, the drain bag is less important um, because again, the medication is usually gonna be delivered just over an hour or so most likely not enough time to have a lot of rain out being generated like you would with a bland aerosol nebulizer, which has a lot of aerosol output. So the other things you wanna to wanna to do, if you are gonna mix this medication at the bedside and utilize the HOPE nebulizers package insert, which includes dosing, um, it's uh, again, I would recommend highly that you have another RT or an RN work together with you to ensure that you're providing the right concentration, whatever the physician has ordered. Um, nursing oftentimes does a two system check 
where two nurses are, are looking at the system to make sure that the concentration that you've mixed is appropriate. Now, more and more, um, the pharmacy is mixing these kinds of medications, so you're gonna wanna follow your hospital's policies and procedures. And, and remember, it's always appropriate, if there's a question, to reach out to your pharmacist to ask uh, how this might be mixed and get assistance. They are the experts in mixing medications and they do not mind um, the questions to ensure that we're giving the right concentrations to our patients. Giving continuous bronchodilators is serious business and you wanna make sure that you're providing the right concentration for your patients. So I hope that's been helpful everyone. And until next time, be well.